Hello there folks, Jose Rodriguez back again. It is the 9th of June. It's a beautiful day outside. We're about to head out. Not for fun, but for a medical appointment. But yesterday I received a box from my friend who sends me the PGI 29 cards for the Pro 1, the Canon Pro 1. And of course, here is the batch that he sent me. And I was able to put together a set and they all have ink in them still. So I will be extracting those inks. I will add these to the existing pile that I have at the end of the room. But I also received a bunch of T58 cards for the Epson's 3800 and 3880 printers. And really odd occurrence. Now they all have ink in them except for a, a handful of them. And when I try to reset them with either the older type resetter or the newer one that's being offered out there at this point, which is the QE589 chip resetter, I got varying results. Now the thinking is that if a card weighs less than 15% um, of the total full weight, in other words, the ink has been used down to the point where there's only 50%, 15% of it left that the chip will not reset fully. Well, I had really weird um, resetting results and I tested every one of these cards on my 3880 and 3800 to see if they would be recognized. And I had random results, which is really odd and a little bit unnerving. Uh, the weird thing was that this particular yellow was practically empty and yet it reset and it is recognized all of these here still have ink in them to a certain degree some of them quite a bit of ink in them and they reset beautifully and yet over here this pile over here some of them had you know more than um, 20 percent ink left in them and yet refuse to reset, refuse to be recognized. So I have all of these cards here that are basically at this point unusable except for as to use as cartridges. And I will go ahead and simply uh, remove the chips and I'll have, I have three photo blacks, actually five, six, six photo blacks, one matte black, I have a cyan, light black, light black and what else light light black yellow light cyan and a bunch of vivid light magenta for them and one random light light black here now these chips and this one didn't even have a chip these chips can be used for those types of refillable cards that require a piggyback controller chip so I will likely be able to offer these to anyone who wants them five bucks each they sell for 20 now um, yes they're not a complete set and they are lacking a few colors but if you have refillable carts that utilize those piggyback type controller chips and this is only for the 3880 at this point because these are vivid light magenta chips and I think they're interchangeable, but just to be sure, um, yeah, five bucks each. And so, and I can uh, put them in individually marked envelopes or little baggies and send them to you. Uh, just PayPal me the money and I will uh, immediately mail these out to you. If you need a yellow, if you need a photo black, matte black, and so on, the only thing that's lacking is a uh, vivid magenta and a cyan at this point. So, and that will complete the set. Uh, John Cone sells chips, and the set is twenty dollars times nine. So do the math, and that that's crazy. Okay, and he gets them for free, so which is really bad. Anyway, so I have all of these here reset, and they have been uh, checked on the printers, and they are accepted. And it's really odd because. I recently had, let me step back so you can see, back here. This is a full set, this is a full set, 
that is a full set, full set, full set, and then I have some partial uh, cards that are not put together into sets yet. But yeah, all of those are reset and recognizable by the printers. And those I'll put to use on my own print shop here. But um, I had one particular one that, one of these vivid magenta ones that I put into my 3880 and it rejected it. I took it out and I just reset it once with this newer resetter, the QE589. Bingo, it worked and I was shocked. And the thing that bothered me was that I had already filled it up with ink. This one right here. I had already filled it up with ink and I was ready to use it of my new 3880 and all of a sudden it wasn't being recognized it was rejected and I reset it just one time and all of a sudden magically it just became accepted again so that's awesome again is the the weirdness about these resetters and the chips um, the just so you know the 3880 that I got for only uh, a couple of hundred dollars just recently it had a total of like 32 well actually 28 prints when I got it and I did some prints on it and I got it up to 32 33 34 something like that and so that's the only um, uh, number of prints that it has had yet the cartridges that are in there are for 2011 so who knows how long this printer has been sitting around unsold just waiting for somebody to buy it and yet it arrived I powered it on did a cleaning cycle and the nozzle check was perfect so that tells you a lot about these printers now these right here very new 2017 all of them so these are perfectly new cards and in fact you can tell that the labeling is a little bit different a little bit brighter looking because of their their very young age so I will see what I can put together here and I may have a set of two or two that I can sell off because I already have too many other sets so I will be putting that on my website for these cards and it'll just be a couple of sets that are going to be available and you'll be able to reset them with one of these types of um, cartridge resetters so no problem there all right that is it this is one thing that came yesterday today I'm receiving some inks and later on in the week I'll be receiving carts for the Pro 800 and I'll discuss that in the next video because there's some, there's some really interesting things to be said about that. Alright, so please share, please subscribe and until the next time as always, happy printing and bye bye.